Hello guys, today I'll teach you how to install the new amazing The History of Ages mod. And the installation process is a bit tricky, but I hope you will understand my perfect English and all the shit you need to do to make this game work for you. Also, keep that in mind that uh, all links I'm using in this video I will put in the description below so you won't miss anything okay let's start first of all you need to go to this link here and press this button yeah all of this shit is Russian so I hope you will understand how to do this press this button and you will download uh, the torrent file and after this you need to download the game I hope you know how to use torrent files Let's think you already done this, you have the game. Wait a second. So, if you did it, you need to install it, of course. It will be two versions of the game set up, English and stop Russian. Install whatever you prefer. Uh, this boy already have uh, a patch uh, 2.01 uh, 2 and no CD crack, so you don't need any of this. But after the installation, you need to go to this program CDK Fixer. Uh, it's a Russian version, but. Uh, you can google the English one so go here and press this thing change key so now you can play the vanilla version of the history of ages but we need the new one so to make this work go to your installation folder Lord of the Rings the history of ages EP1 folder and you need to delete some of files from this folder THOA basic, basic2, other and data <coughs> after this you need to go to step 3 and press this button download file you will download you need to put here in this folder and uh, other two files you will download you need to put into the EP1 folder in the step 4 and step 5 after all this process you need to go to your game folder again into EP1 or EP1 I don't know how to pronounce it <coughs> and uh, find this folder THOA launcher there is uh, two folders here first of all it's THOA data and uh, there is uh, two choices for you if you want to play with uh, FPS limit or without it so basically this game has a 30% FPS limit if you choose uh, this thing you just need to copy it and uh, 
paste it here. So your game will be running in a normal way, I guess, and everything everything will be good. But if you choose this one, uh, all units in your game will be moving a lot faster. And I guess uh, the buildings will be bailed a lot faster also. But uh, keep that in mind that uh, if you want to play multiplayer, uh, all players uh, need to have uh, one version of the game. So FPS no limit or FPS limit. And after this you need to go... wait... You need to go here, language, and uh, choose the language of you, that you prefer. If you are English, so copy this shit. Return to the EP1, go to Lang, and paste it. Done. Now you can go to your desktop and play your game. Here it is, the shortcut. Also you can change the resolution of your game. Put it here. And I guess that's all. Also there is a launcher. And if you will have some problems with the uh, language in the game, you can also change it here. Wait. Here. There is English and Russian. And save. That's all. Uh, just again. I will put all links in the description below the video and uh, when they will release uh, some updates of this mod I will update the description below my video. Thanks for watching, I hope I'll help you, goodbye.